What is up guys, Juan here, starting my pressure washing series today. I'm gonna to be going over my trailer build. Um, it's very much a budget trailer build, but I did put additional money into reels and certain things like that. But really, I just wanna show you how you can build a budget trailer or truck setup very simply, uh, just with a couple important things. Uh, so really, I'm just gonna show you around my build and I'm not gonna be showing you you know working with it today those are to come with the work vlogs but i'll be showing you how i got everything set up and really going from there i really try to keep everything simple because when you try and over complicate things especially with plumbing it's just it may be it can become a nightmare you know so i'm really looking forward to showing you guys this i've been working on it for about a week or so so let's stay tuned get to it Alrighty guys, it's pretty windy out, but let's start with the heart of my setup. We are working with a Everflow five and a half gallon per minute diaphragm pump. I have a backup pump right here in case it ever fails, I can quickly just swap in and out. Um, I had a dual pump set up, but things, I kept getting leaks here and there. So I just, I swapped it like this. And now literally all I gotta do if the pump fails is just undo these, pop this one in, we're good to go. It's really important to always have a backup on the job. Uh, I lost a couple jobs last year due to these Neverflow pumps failing. So really always have a backup. Make sure you're always covered so you're not missing out on work. You know, one of these pumps typically only lasts about two to three months. So really always have a backup. If one fails, swap it in. You're good to go. You don't lose any customers. You're not pushing your schedule back. I got a uh, boat battery here. Um, really, I don't have to charge it much. The only thing I want to incorporate is a solar panel for when we're working, so I don't have to charge this. And yeah, this is the this is the heart of the trailer. Going from the heart of the trailer, we're gonna go into the proportioner. So this proportioner, as most of you should know, it proportions the SH to water to surfactant ratio. So really, I set it for what I need, 50-50. Um, you know, you could basically dial in all your percentages for whatever you need to do, whether it be vinyl siding, stucco, brick, hardy board, whatever you need, you could dial it, proportion it accurately so you're doing the best job for your customers. So all of that is proportioned through my water tank here. I got a 35 gallon horizontal SH tank, and then I got a five gallon surfactant tank. So really, you know, the proportions through the SH, the water, surfactant, it's all ran through here, dialed back, down and around into my pump, back out. If you follow this line, we come down, we come around into my real craft. So this right here was $200, but it's got a nice locking mechanism and it was, I had a reel down and I didn't want to invest in another $80 hose reel. So I just decided to bite the bullet and spend the money. Followed by two 200 foot Flexilla hose reels. I mean two uh, Flexilla hose. It's half inch hose. It's actually air hose rated up to 300 PSI, I believe. And it's perfect for this. Last year, you know, I work with my wife, so she lugs the hoses so this year i really wanted to make sure that we got lighter hoses so it's easier on everyone with the setup and breakdown so this 180 dollars a piece but well worth it do you need these flexilla hoses absolutely not you can get normal 5 8 hose from home depot and do just the same job but the hose to be a little bit heavier do you even need all these hose reels absolutely not you can do setup and breakdown by hand. Save the money on the reels, invest back into yourself, and eventually buy the reels. Because all it does is save your time on the job. And time is money. So, you, you know, spending 45 minutes breaking down hoses at the end of the day, you could be already on and started at the next job. So, really? Do you need these hose reels? No. But it is well worth uh, your time. So, 
Yeah, so this is my active water hose. This goes to the house and feeds my system. This is the our rinse line, water line, and then this is our chem line. Pretty simple. For the water line, I got a two-way switch here. If I need to feed our system, I haven't set up my shower head yet, but I usually set up a rinse station. And if I need to feed the pressure washer, I can do that as well. So pretty cool little setup there. Now on to this side. So we got my water tank. I drilled some holes in it last year, so that's why I patched these. Water, we need to fill anything up. So this here is a 55 gallon. This is actually a vertical drum that I made it into a horizontal drum. I got it strapped down and two by four into place so it can't move or budge at all. I drilled an inch and a half hole or two inch hole up top. I put this in here so we can, you know, fill it up and as we need. 55 gallon water tank, 35 gallon SH tank. I will always have an additional 10 gallons of SH if we need it this setup right here is i can get two three jobs done in a day with how it currently sits onto my little utility crate i got 50 50 the greaser i got rust and bark remover some gutter butter and really that's it and then i have a simpson honda gc 190 pressure washer and this thing I've had for two seasons now, and it's lasted me. It's only 2.4 gallons per minute, but I don't do much pressure washing. I have a couple kitchen accounts where I gotta go do the floors, and this works really great for that. Pressure washing baffles, and for light concrete work, this does the work no problem. I followed with a 15 inch surface cleaner, and I do have the extension for the wand. I eventually want to invest in a bigger surface cleaner, but you know, the work's just not there with pressure washing, so I'm not gonna spend the money, you know, into something that we're not really getting a lot of work done. So really, my business comes from house and roof washing along with my junk removal. So this is my pressure washer and my house wash setup. It's pretty simple. I got a tarp right here so I can tarp everything when it rains. And really, this is it. Uh, once I start doing some work vlogs, I'll show you everything in action but it's really pretty simple. I'll uh, go over and simplify everything really quickly to how it all works. So like I had said in the beginning of the video, for those of you who aren't paying attention, uh, this is uh, my whole system is fed through this proportioner. I got a water line, an SH line, and a surfactant line. So everything is pulled from this SH tank through the proportioner from the water tank through the proportioner it blends everything together and does its magic comes back into one solid mix comes down and around through my pump and out into my line it's really rather simple but i know this year our time efficiency and just with the setup and breakdown is going to be so much better and i'm so excited to get going i'll have a my grease busters house wash sign will be back here i actually have a bunch of yard signs coming in so i'm just going to put a yard sign in the front and really start maximizing my advertising but i gotta clean up the tanks and i was thinking about painting the the wheels red because you know my my colors are black and red but this trailer is only rated for 2,000 pounds, and I know that I am pushing it. So, that being said, I'm just going to do this season with this trailer, and at the end of the season, I'll sell this trailer off and build a new build on probably a trailer rated for at least 3,000 pounds next year. But this right here is going to make me a lot of money. I have a lot of work lined up. So really, take what you can from this video. Put it into your build i mean keep it simple that is the best thing i could tell any of you guys is keep it simple don't overcomplicate it don't spend too much money last year i got into this with 300 dollars, and you could do the same exact thing 
Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop it. I'd love to talk with other pressure washers and house washers in the comments. And yeah, this is it. So yeah, guys, this is my build. Uh, pretty simple. If you guys uh, have any questions, comments, suggestions, if you like the video or hate the video, drop a comment. Let me know what you think. All right. So until next time, guys, until you see this thing in action, have a great day. Keep making that money. Peace.